Buenos días. Nos encontramos en la vereda de Clarete Alto. En el Good morning. We are located in the Vereda de Clarete Alto in the municipality of Popayan, in the Health and Nature Tourism Project Torrente Vida SAS. At this moment we are in a peasant area, foothills of the eastern cordillera. They are hills of volcanic origin and it is a corner of nature, protected where we find oak systems, which we still have left. Approximately we have almost 250 hectares of oak forest. We have quite considerable water power. Because we have these remnants of forest also preserved, we have a large variety of fauna still preserved. The groups that come here come to make different visits. Among them hiking, bird watching and others come for the theme of health, which is prevention and rehabilitation, which we carry out here. Within prevention and realization we have an emphasis and a focus on environmental protection, because one of our natural doctors is the field. If everything we have around us is full of life and vitality, and we can share it with these living beings that surround us, that green that we have around us is one of the best doctors, the trees, the meadows, the water, our wetlands. That leads us to have health and outside of that, we work on everything that has to do with livestock, meadows, organic gardens, which are also shared with our visitors. We could also tell you that in this project. One of the factors that has led us to develop this project is the preservation of the environment. Which is sometimes neglected here in our country. And we want this model that we are carrying out here to be strong and to be like an example for each and every one of the visitors who are here at this moment, and those who will continue to come. At this point we are in the division of two of the trails that exist here in the project. As you can see the arrow indicates the path to the prairie here and as its name indicates. It is within all the properties and prairies where livestock is managed. Today we are going to take the freshwater trail route, which will take us to see the organic garden and then take a tour of that important element that are our streams and the hydric parts of the farm, such as its wetlands and small lakes. The tour will last us approximately between two and a half to three hours. So, let's go through this part please. So that you don't slip, please don't take the road, it's better to go along the bus stop, which is much safer. Estamos ingresando a la huerta orgánica. Es importante We are entering the organic garden. It is important to tell you that this garden was planned so that it provides food for people. Las personas, pero también eh, está planeada para que aquí lleguen aves. But it is also created so that birds come here and have a livelihood. That is why we establish musicians. We have plantains, bananas, and bananas and fruit trees such as different varieties of avocados. One of the important systems that we use here is called sun and shade crops. That is, we allow the crops to compete with the weeds. These days the scythe is already being used and we take advantage of that residue as fertilizer organic. Para aquellas personas que no conocen, aquí tenemos un árbol de abotijaba o uva brasilera. For those who don't know, here we have a Jabuticaba tree or Brazilian grape, known as the tree of patience. There in the center we see a cinnamon tree, which comes from a very hot climate, but here it goes. 
apple trees and in this vine that you are going to see here is a maracuba. I grafted it or rather I put it in the company of a cider potato since both are climbers in order to have more and more variety of plants within our system. In this orchard we also have aracacha. A month ago I grew corn and in the lower part we have citrus fruits, including orange, tahiti lemon and tangerine. And at the end of the orchard I once again placed musaceae, thinking as I said before about the birds and different animals that we have here in the area to feed and be an attractive point for our visitors. Y sea un punto de atractivo para nuestros visitantes. Bueno, aquí llegamos a uno de los nacimientos artificiales que se ha creado. Well, here we come to one of the artificial births that has been created in honor of my work, which is the part of medical hydrotherapy, which concerns the treatments that are given to people with water diferentes temperaturas <coughs> y composiciones. <coughs> Esta fuente se llama la lágrima, como lo ven. Solo With its different temperatures and compositions, this fountain is called the teardrop, as you can see. It only has a droplet of water, and I carved this face with a teardrop in honor of that drop of water, which is the theme we were talking about before, that now we have water, but inside a future perhaps we will not have it if we do not protect it. Below we see a replica of the lava potas that is in the archaeological site of San Austin in one of its ravines. We are going to continue and we will already enter the wetlands part. Welcome to the remnants of forest that the Torrente Vita project still preserves. Let's start with an example. El señor Felipe que está ya con su hermoso sombrero me invita a su casa. Mr. Felipe, who is already wearing his beautiful hat, invites me to his house and I arrive at his house and enter his living room and jump on his furniture with these spectacular boots full of mud then I go to his kitchen and I open the fridge and I eat the ham the fruits I go to his pantry I take out the bread and devour it and to top it all off with confidence I enter his room and jump on his bed Felipe invites me back? No. With this I want to tell you that we are in a very special house, which is respectful that it is the habitat of a number of beings and energies that we must preserve. If we make this tour with respect, we will be able to channel all that energy that this environment is going to give us within the themes that are worked on here, which is forest protection, the protection of the forest. We also do the famous forest baths or the Shinrin Yoku, as it is known, what is it? I am going to give you a short introduction. What is Shinrin Yoku or forest bathing? It is to take advantage of that clean energy from these ecological systems, that energetic communication that they have and channel it in such a way that it helps us to heal. What do we take advantage of them? As I was saying about clean energy, aromas, etheric oils, among others. But for this we have to prepare ourselves in a psychosomatic way so that our states of consciousness calm down, relax and we can take a tour in peace and we can share. Listen to the word is to share. Those energy channels is to say that we can get that negative energy out and we can charge the positive energy that they give us. Another thing that I'd like to recommend outside of the protection issue is that when we walk in the forest, the first thing that those of us who wear hats, caps, and dark glasses should do is remove the dark glasses and caps, turn the cap backwards. Why? That? Resulta de que en época de verano o en invierno, en verano se empiezan a mover los árboles por el viento. You may wonder. It turns out that in summer or in winter, 
In summer the trees begin to move due to the wind and there are many branches that are old and rotten and in winter they are completely soaked. At any time a breeze comes and you can detaching a branch. If we have a cap facing forward or the kepi will not give us time to react. The second thing we come to enjoy being able to observe this area, this environment, being able to see birds, being able to see butterflies and if we are lucky, why no? A deer, a hedgehog, or any other of the species that inhabits this forest. For this we need silence and have a look of almost 360 degrees. nos damos cuenta que estamos pasando por el primer parte en una primera parte del humedal y nacimiento we realize that we're going through the first part of the wetland and spring. It's fortunate to have springs on your property. Water is one of the elements that transmit life and an infinite amount of possibilities for Colombian agriculture. Para el agro -colombiano. Este espejo de agua lo empecé a... a... I began to form this mirror of water approximately nine months ago. The idea of this mirror of water is to begin to increase the fauna that is attracted to the water. For example, herons, garzones, kingfishers, and for that, I also began to place fish in the lake and plants that belong to this ecosystem. Also, as you can tell, look, everyone is enjoying himself or herself. There is that canine enjoying a bath and likewise the birds. The birds will also have an area to enjoy fishing and it is a plus for the nature tourism project. The important thing and the characteristic of this male fern is that its growth is extremely slow. It can be compared with that of a frailgen, and unfortunately here in the farms that are nearby, the rural systems have almost extinguished it. Because the palm that gives this bed, then we will have the opportunity to observe some that are already made. The palm that gives this fern is similar to that of the kanta. Because it is an internal fiber that it has, it lasts a long time in constructions, it is estimated that one that a pillar made of male fern or kanta palm, which is the other tree similarly, it can last between 200 to 250 years in a construction. For that reason it was very desired by the peasants to build. And apart from that when you have the opportunity to visit the Paramus, you will see that the male ferns produce like a foam made of pure fiber, and in the past they cut it to make flower pots, they made foam cubes and there they planted orchids, other types of ferns and that led to the risk of these species disappearing, here fortunately they are beginning to grow and as I told you I have some that are already made and they are very beautiful and I am proud to be able to preserve them. When we pass through this part of the path, no one sees my protective duende. Precisely for this reason he is a protective duende, because he remains incognito to observe those passing by and I come and he whispers to me who have traveled this path. Me disculparán porque no le he podido llevar al peluquero, sí, su melena está un poco larga, sus ojos están tristes. They will excuse me because they did not I have been able to take him to the hairdresser. His hair is a bit long. His eyes are sad. It will be because of the cold and the amount of rain that is falling. Myths and legends, remember it, it is part of our trails and the ravines as we mentioned before they are sources of life. There we can still observe some varieties of fish such as guppies in parts where the rapids are slow. We can still observe the growth and laying of the eggs of the little frogs and they are life sites that we must preserve. 
That is extremely important, and what helps us to preserve these sources of life, these streams and springs that we have here. Since the forests are responsible for the water continuing to circulate through these channels. Since we are talking about a green showcase and that our visitors can gain knowledge, I am going to tell you how acupuncture began. Here you can see a tree that we here know as Cacho de Venado. Look at these spectacular thorns that it has. In some parts it is known as una de gato. Yes, gentlemen. Acupuncture began like most of science by coincidence. Our ancestors began to pierce some parts of their body to decorate themselves and over time it began to be discovered that piercing. Acupuncture a part of the body could influence one of our internal organs and from there it began. Estoy hablando a pasos agigantados y rápidos, ¿no? Porque estos fueron procesos de años y años y años y siglos, ¿sí? I am speaking in leaps and bounds and fast, because this was a process that took years and years and years and centuries, until science began to discover the correlation, yes, of the external layers, of the reflex zones that we have in our external layers with the internal layers, and here are the beginnings. That was what our indigenous people did in the old days. They used these thorns to decorate themselves until those reflex points were discovered. Another interesting fact is that in this patch we begin to see the first vestiges of oak, which we have left. Unfortunately, this region is told by the ancient people who lived here that they were gigantic oak groves. They were not hectares and hectares of oak, but in the past oak was you cut to get charcoal. Charcoal, what was the process like? Carbon vegetal, ¿sí? ¿Cómo era el proceso? Tú llegabas y talabas un árbol de estos de 100, 150, 200 años, lo picabas. You would arrive with one of these 100, 150, or 200-year-old trees installed, you would chop it. A hole would be opened in the ground, that wood would be placed, arranged, covered with earth and then set on fire and the slow burning makes the coal remains inside the crack that has been made and after it finished burning in 15 to 20 days, they uncovered the land, extracted the coal and sold it. But it harmed us in the forests because such a spectacular species as is the white oak, the Quercus, that we have here began to become extinct. Nowadays people discover that it is a tree that must be protected and the felling of the oak is prohibited. As you can see, we are walking in a mixed forest. At this moment it is still secondary, that is, it is just recovering. Because as I told you about the process of this farm before, it was a cattle farm. But where the forests, the cattle entered our ravines and of course they went through all the forests, and everything was ending with their passing. For more than six years since I closed all the forest remnants, there has been a great recovery and I hope it continues this process, that the people who come to work in these types of companies that we are forming now, continue to preserve it, and this forest grows more and more, is much stronger. Remember, which is the oxygen of the future, of our children, of our grandchildren and of us. I invite you from now on to breathe hard, feel the freshness of the air in this sector that we are visiting, it is a natural doctor, 
Let's oxygenate our body. Let's oxygenate our mind. Now we are going to enter one of the rapids. The name of this rapid is La Magica. It is one of the places where I began to do some internships in the area of medical hydrotherapy. I wanted to tell you something really important about the Department of Cauca. Did you know that the Department of Cauca contributes almost 70% of the water to our Colombia? Here in the Department of Cauca we have the Fluvial Star, it is where the Caquita River is born, which as you know is one of the largest we also have in Colombia, the Cauca River and the Magdalena River. That makes the department rich in water gigantic and that each and every one of us here is forced to protect and raise awareness of the wealth that the department has and that it is not just for us, it is for all of Colombia. To all the visitors who are here, I want to invite you especially to be aware of the water wealth that we have in the Department of Cauca and as I said before we are forced to protect it. These forest systems help us so that these springs, these streams and rivers that we have continue in their life, that they do not diminish and also each element is correlated and as intelligent human beings that we are, we are forced to take care of this ecosystem. In the place where we find the stream that we call La Magica within the Torrente Vita project, is a space where we come to raise awareness of what it means to protect the environment, but what it means to take care of our water sources. In addition, we take advantage of these spectacular and beautiful spaces to work on the water therapy part. Gentlemen, don't forget. Our department is one of the largest producers of water in Colombia. I forgot to mention that within the Fluvial Star the Pesha River and the San Jorge River are also born and we have another huge river with a unique canyon very similar to Santander's which it is the Guachicono River. You must visit it. Get to know this region and you must help us protect all our ecosystems. Cauca is a treasure that is yet to be discovered in all the natural, agricultural and cultural aspects that we have here in the region. Agrícolas y culturales que tenemos acá en la región. <laughs>